Hey coach, before we jump into this week's video, make sure you go to flagfootballwithcoachd.com. You can grab 10% off by clicking here and subscribing, but let me give you some quick recommendations. Number one, if you're a new coach, you have to grab the complete new coach bundle. It comes with offense, defense, drills, practices, everything. Plus you'll get wristbands, all the equipment that you need right there. If you don't need equipment or wristbands, you can grab the complete new coach pack instead. Another thing that's super popular the plug and play bundle. If you're looking for offense plays and wristbands, that is the one you need. If you don't want wristbands at all, just want the offense, the drills, the practices, get the complete coach package and that's a must. If you just want wristbands, nothing else, you can grab those here. If you're looking for equipment, everything you see in my videos from footballs to flags to the clipboard, all of that can be found under equipment. And then look, if you're looking to customize, you want to mix and match my plays and build your own playbook, that's the play builder right here. I will import any plays that you grab from me so you can mix and match and customize, then print it out for the wristbands, one per page, four per page, etc. Look, jump over to flagfootballwithcoachd.com. Everything comes in 5v5, 6v6, or 7v7. I've got your back. Now let's jump in to this week's video. Hey everyone, this is Coach D. Today let's talk about preparing your quarterback for the season. Today we're gonna to talk about quarterback progressions. We're gonna talk about accuracy. We're gonna talk about making quick decisions within three seconds so the ball is out of their hands. No matter what age group, no matter if there's a rusher or not, today let's get them prepared. Let's start with our plays. This is one of our plays from our play bundles. You can grab this at flagfootballwithcoachd.com along with several others. But in ours, what you'll see is you'll see there is a starred player. This is usually telling the quarterback, this is the number one receiver that you wanna go for. This is your first, what we call look. Then who should they go to next if this is covered? Well, this is what we call quarterback progressions. And usually the best of the best, Tom Brady, Mahomes, anybody else, they can do this in split seconds. What they're doing is they're, let's say, going, this is my number one, this is covered, so immediately I go to number two. This is my number two. Then that's covered, so I go to number three, which is the B in the flat. And then if that's covered, I'll do a check down here with my center. So let me show you, if I said, this is C on a fly, that's my number one. But if that's covered, I'm going A, then B, then C. But I want them to do this in seconds. So let me show you how this play works. This is gonna be a B fake, so quickly gonna do a fake to B, going to the flat. Then they're looking downfield for this. If it's covered, I go here. If that's covered, I go here in the flat. And then finally here. Let me show you how fast this goes and where their eyes should be. As you always know, if I'm having a rusher, I don't wanna focus on the rusher. I wanna keep my eyes downfield, even if I'm moving. But I want them to look specifically for something. So for this play, right away, I'm gonna do a quick fake handoff to B, who goes out to the flat. But right away, what I'm doing is I'm looking for C downfield. So my eyes are up, right? And even if I have a rusher, I'm looking for that number one. Now, right away, if that's covered, or if I have, let's say a safety that's moving in that direction, or the cornerback, I just know that they're fast. So I'm gonna tell my, my quarterback, that's my number one, but right away, I want you to quickly look for A is doing a nice post right here. So here first, then I go here to my post. If I see that might be open, if that's covered, I'm gonna go B over here, the fake that I just did, and now they're on the flat, in the flat. And then my check down, my final, is gonna be my center, which should probably be somewhere around here. But I wanna do it in split seconds, right? I want them to release the ball in three seconds, so check this out. Ready, go, fake handoff. I'm looking downfield, that's covered. Immediately I go here, I see this is, nope, covered, and I go here, boom. Split seconds. Let's say I go to A. Ready, go. <sighs> Boom. All A did, ran. They got a little bit of space 
right? They were going, let's say, in between zones. So I saw that there was a nice cut and they had a little opening for that post. So I went there. I went A, my C first. Then I saw this, boom. So one thing I don't want them to do is look here, then look here, then look here, make it obvious, right? So it's gonna be split seconds. Ready, go. Boom, that's going to A, okay? Now let's say it's, it's C and I've got a rusher. I might make a quick move and still hit that because they have to get behind the defense. So I just need it to last a little bit longer. Ready, go. I still do my fake handoff here. I might put it at my hip, right? Now, I might make one move and go. That would be my number one. Now, let's say all three are covered and I'm gonna go for my check down. Ready, go. Boom. We're talking three seconds. So for all of these, I want them to start releasing within three seconds. Let's look at another play. For this play, I'm gonna have motion going. So pre-snap motion, right? Ready, I lift my leg and A runs across. I say, ready, go. I'm gonna fake hand off here. And then as you see, my post is number one. B, let's say, is number two on a short uh, in pattern. Let's say this could be in the flat. So that could be my number three. And then if I needed to, center could be here. And what we want to do is take out our marker and we want to we want to label these, right? So one, two, three, four, right? So this is my number one, number two. This is coming around and so it'll be on the flat right here three and four. Now, when you're teaching this to your quarterback, you can have it on the wristbands, but you can also, from the play builder, you can print it out like this, so it's big, so that they can actually see it. You can even do four per page, so you can make it, right, easy for them to know, okay, this is one, two, three, four. And what I wanna do is, as their quarterback coach, is I wanna count for them. Like, they have three seconds to make this quick decision. So if I'm in shotgun and I go, and I'm looking at the play here, ready, go. I fake hand off here to A, it's gonna come this way. And then I go back. I've got a post going right now. So that's my number one. If I see that there is a gap in their zone and that post can go right in between, then I've got that. If for some reason my speedster wide receiver can beat everyone, and I've got that, that number one receiver, then that's where I'm going. Ready, go. Fake handoff, coming across this way. I'm looking for C first. It's covered. Now right away, I've got B right in front of me, about two yards doing an in pattern. I could quickly just dump it off. So at the same time that I'm looking, ready, go. They take the ball this way. I'm moving. I can see that it's going to be covered, but I see B has an opening. Boom. I'll go right there. If I have somebody right here in the middle that is going to block B and C is covered. Ready, go. Fake handoff. I'm looking downfield, looking here. Boom. I could do it in the flat to A here. If all of that is covered, ready, go. This is covered, that's covered. This is covered over here, but I have a nice post over here. Nobody's over there. Go to center on a post over there. So within three seconds, I'm able to one, two, three, four, and get it released. This happens in seconds. All that has to happen in three seconds. The next play, and I'll just number it off here. Which one do you think? Which one's number one? This is a fake handoff over here, right in between. This is my number one. This is my number two. This is number three. This is number three. And then this is number four. 
So I've got one, two, three going up field, right? And then four on the quick out. Let's review how fast that happens. Ready, go. Fake handoff here. I'm going up top. That's covered. I go post is happening here. Nope, that's happening. Throw it over here in the flat. Ready, go. If it's open, then I need them to make a quick decision within three seconds. Ready, go. Go. If they're getting blitzed, I might go for that shorter post to B. But either way, I want them to have the decision already made for them. One, two, three, four. Okay, it's not, if you have seven V seven, you're not gonna say one, two, three, four, five, you know. Pick the top three, potentially the top four, and just number them on your plays. When you're teaching them, teach them progressions. Then you get to the next level where you can start moving the defense with your eyes. Let's say this is a fly and this is a corner. A fly and a corner. Then I might take my eyes toward that right here, even though in the peripheral, I can see that that corner is about to pop wide open. Then I might stay there and then I'll throw last second I'll move my eyes over to that direction. So you don't want them to, that just gives it away, right? So you wanna teach them, you can still see out of your peripheral. I'm going here, lead them here. If there's a safety, I want that safety to go all the way over this way. And then last second, boom, I'm coming over here. So those are the things that you wanna look at. Next, let me show you how we're preparing quarterbacks here on the field. What I've done is you can see that I've got a couple of routes here and I've put a little bit of space, about a yard or two in between. And this is where I want the ball to land for that route. If I have quarterback here, then I have a quick out here. And I want that ball to be delivered right here. So they're probably going to throw it about right when I make my cut, right? To be able to hit me here. This one is a quick slant. So I would start from here. I want them to go all the way over and throw the ball there. So that means they probably need to, depending on the speed of their wide receiver, they need to throw that ball right there. Boom. This is my post. So that I would start here. I would do a nice post pattern and I want them to get timing down so that they know for the speed of the receiver, when do they throw it? And I've got a fly pattern here. And what's great is this is close to the sideline so that they can determine, are they going on the outside or are they throwing on the inside? And that quarterback really wants to tell the wide receiver, hey, I'm gonna go on your inside or your outside, depending on where the cornerback or your safety is. If the safety is coming across, right, then I might have to throw it on the outside. And then over here, I've got a corner. And so I'm running, right? I'm doing a nice little boom. And then I bump out. And so that's going to be more over here, right? So they need to throw it so it lands right there. So these are just routes without anybody on the field that they can start getting comfortable with. So if I look at, let's say, a post here, right? I want to make sure that I'm throwing it about right there so that it hits the window right here, because you'll probably have a defender here. I wanna catch that right here so they can catch it on the go. What happens a lot of times is they run their route, then they just start kind of wandering around. You don't want that. You want the quarterback to be able to, right when they make that cut, they see it's open and they boom, they hit it. Let's say on, on the fly pattern, they wanna know, okay, I'm gonna throw it like right here over the defense so that it hits. Right, So those are things that I want to prepare them for and doing this with nobody here is awesome. Then next level, I can get my defense out here, start to identify windows. So if someone came, if a wide receiver ran here, right behind me, they could throw it here, even though I have a defender here. So I start to really work on their accuracy and knowing for each of the routes as they're choosing one, two, three, four, right? They know where should the ball be for each of those routes. So let me show you out on the field for my out pattern. Ready, go. 
fault. For my fly pattern, let's say they want to throw it on the outside. Ready, go. Throw it over here. Boom. Then I try it on the inside. Ready, go. Throw it. Oh, it's here. You'll start to see that the quarterback might do a line drive to that ball, to those cones, and that's a interception, right? Interception, you gotta pop that baby up so I'm catching it over the shoulder. Let's say a quick slant. I would pop this out a lot more, but I'm gonna go one out here, I'm going here, throw it here. A lot of times quarterbacks will miss the easy throw. So just if they're going this way, having them do a quick dump off, right? Quick dump off, what does that mean? Let me do the post real quick. There you go. Throw it. And you can hear me say, throw it, when they're supposed to throw it. So I might release that ball right here to get it here. The corner route. Ready to go. Throw it. Boom. And then you can catch it here. Now, while I'm doing this, if I have a rusher, right, then what I want them to do is I want them to practice either making a move and then throwing it or which way are you moving depending on your number one, number two receiver. So, ready, go. They might have to do one move and they're coming over here. If they're coming over here for this quick dump off, I might go this way so I can dump it off here. If I'm just running one way or the other every time, then a, a rusher can just cut me off either way. And I'm like, oh. but if I can teach my, my quarterback to move either way, depending on where they're looking, and not that they're gonna be going back and forth, but they're moving this way for this route, they're moving this way for this route, they're a little bit smarter when it comes to who's, who's blitzing. When a rusher's coming in, I might forget all about my, my one, two, three, who should I go? And I just try to avoid the rusher and I get pulled. So I want them to keep their eyes downfield, have a couple of moves that they can use, right? To be able to maneuver away from a, a rusher and then look downfield and throw. And then you want to actually simulate it in uh, a scrimmage, right? So don't just do drills, but make sure you do the scrimmage as well. So let's recap. If I have a play like this, I want to identify what is number one, what's number two, what's number three, and what's number four. To help my quarterback quickly make a decision, I want them to release the ball within three seconds three seconds. So I, as the coach, will be calling out one, two, three. For every play, I want them to know which way they are going to be going. And then I want them to come up with specific moves to be able to avoid a rusher. For each of the routes that are in your playbook, I want you to put out cones that are about two yards apart to where the ball should be going for each of those routes. And then your quarterback can say, run a corner route run a, a fly, run a quick slant, right? And they start getting confident, being able to hit the receiver in stride exactly when they're in the right spot, in the windows for that route. Then you take it to the next level and you might add in a defender that stands close to this. And what do they do now? How do they find the windows for those routes? And then finally, look, this is a mental game. If they make some mistakes, let them know that you're on their side. You're not just gonna take them out just because they threw an interception. You're with them in the trenches and you're gonna help them along the way. Be an encourager and have some fun. Look, like I said, you can grab these plays, this football, these flags, these cones at flagfootballwithcoachd.com. Even this clipboard, which is great for your game day planning. Look, this is Coach D. If you like what you see, go ahead and like, subscribe, comment, and share. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.